Hi, I'm Lisa Leiter. In Chicago Business Today, Juul's new look. Chicago's largest grocery store chain is testing a new store format. Juul Osco is purging some items as part of a major makeover aimed at boosting profits and fending off Walmart. At its store in Bolingbrook, Juul is cutting 15 to 25 percent of its products as part of parent company Super Value's new growth plan called Project She, which stands for Simplify Her Experience. Gone are items like electronics, motor oil, and perfumes. Juul is also reducing the number of sizes, brands, and varieties of products, a strategy that has been challenging for other retailers. Juul hasn't really said how successful they've been with the new program. But we know it's a tough program to implement. Both Walgreens and Walmart have struggled with SKU rationalization and cutting down the selection. Both of them took out hundreds of items and they had to put back a bunch of items because they found out that while they might not have sold a lot, they were items that were important to customers. So they then restocked those items. So it's usually something that's always a work in progress, figuring out what items shoppers most care about, even if they don't buy them. But one local grocery consultant tells Cranes that this strategy could expand Juul's profits by about $40 million annually across the 180-store chain. A Juul spokeswoman says other stores will be redesigned like the Bolingbrook location, but would not say when or how many of the outlets will be converted. Meanwhile, shoppers' reactions to the changes have been mixed. Some like the lower shelves, open layout and better signage. Erica Wagner has been shopping at the Bolingbrook store for five years and started noticing a difference about six months ago. Then the store stopped carrying the only grape juice her six-year-old son will drink. When you have a young one with a, that has a really picky eating, it, it makes a big difference that the things that he liked are now gone. So now we have to, for those three or four things that are a staple in his life, we have to go to either the other Jewel or the Meyer or just some place where I know has those, those things. Jewel is pushing to promote its own store brands, which yield bigger profits than items from outside suppliers. Those suppliers want more shelf space, of course, for their new creations. For example, variations on Kraft's Oreo cookies or Cheerios from General Mills. As for Wagner, she says she's happy about the better produce, expanded organic section, and better lighting but is hoping the store will eventually restock some of her family favorites. There's something that you can do inside where you put a request in for certain specific products, and I've done that, so I hope they get them back. Um, but other than just those few things, it's fine. Analysts say Jules' share of the market has fallen in the past three years as Walmart, Aldi, and others have lured customers away. And with Walmart's plans to expand aggressively in Chicago, competition is likely to be more intense in the future. Well, that's this edition of Chicago Business Today. For more on this story, be sure to check out this week's print edition of Cranes or chicagobusiness.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday.